Hello dear friends in Christ, you are welcome to the Saints in the Church as we reflect on the readings for the 25th Sunday in the Ordinary Time Year B. The readings for the Sunday invite us to reflect on the themes of humility, service and the danger of ambition and selfishness. In the first reading from the Book of Wisdom, we hear about the plight of the righteous person who is persecuted by the wicked because of his goodness. The wicked plot against the just man, testing his patience and trust in God. We are encouraged to consider how we respond when we are faced with envy, hostility or opposition for doing what is right. It is a challenge to remain steadfast in our integrity and trust in God's justice when faced with trials. The second reading from the letter of St. James highlights the destructive nature of jealousy and selfish ambition. James contrasts this with the peace that comes from wisdom, rooted in purity, gentleness and mercy. He warns that conflict and dispute arises when our desires are at war within us, and he calls us to seek what is good and righteous. This reading invites us to examine our heart and ask whether our actions are motivated by selfish desires or by a genuine desire to serve others and seek peace. In the Gospel reading, Jesus teaches his disciples about the true meaning of greatness in God's kingdom. Why they were arguing about who among them was the greatest? Jesus takes a child and places him in their midst, saying that whoever wants to be the first must be the last of all and the servant of all. This powerful teaching reminds us that True greatness is not found in statues or power, but in humble service to others, especially to the vulnerable and the lonely. As we reflect on these readings, we are called to embrace the path of humility and service that Jesus modeled for us. We are challenged to let go of selfish ambition and instead seek to serve others with a pure and generous heart. By doing so, we participate in the wisdom from above that leads to peace and righteousness. This week, let us ask for the grace to be humble servants, following Christ's example and serving others with love and humility. Amen.